Hello Pisces, this is the Spiritual Centre and I'm Sonia Parker. In this video I will be doing your Pisces Tarot reading for August 2019. This reading will give you some guidance, advice and messages for your month ahead. In the reading this month I will be using the Oracle of the Ancient Celts, which is a lovely deck, and the tarot deck that I'm using is the Celtic Tarot by Christopher Hughes. Okay, before before we begin, um, please can I ask if you enjoy the reading, then let me know in the comments. Please like and share the video, and also please subscribe to the channel, and please hit the notifications bell. I will be letting you know then when I'll be doing live chat and pulling cards for you on my pick a card readings. Okay, Pisces, so the card that I've pulled for your overall energy this month is the Triskel. There we go. I have one on my tattoo here. So what does this mean for you this month? Well, the Triskel is the ancient belief of the power of three. It symbolizes the need for the combined components in order to make things happen. And this card has shown itself this month to ask you one simple question. How can I be the best that I can be? Balance is the number two, which is all good. However, balance is stationary. It doesn't move. So the third element is needed for action to facilitate the progression. So the Triskel empowers you and all you need to do to make that ha action happen is trust, believe and receive. What a beautiful message for you Pisces. Trust, believe and receive. Okay, so we'll see what else is coming out for you with the tarot. What advice can the tarot give you this month? Okay, and the card that we have, wow, on the bottom of the deck is the moon, your ruler. So this is definitely about trusting your intuition. Trust is such a big word, such a meaningful word, but it's actually all you need to do is to have faith and trust and you will receive what it is that you're seeking also use the full moon energy as well we can do so much with moon energy which you know because it is your ruler do sense as well that there could be emotions that are running high okay so let's see what's going on around you and we have reversed the king of shields the king of pentacles we have some young girls sitting down. Does this tell me that you've always worked very hard? Work has been your world. It's almost as though if you were working, you were happy. Um, it's about strong independence and knowledge as well about your trade or what it is that you do for a living. It's about passing that knowledge on as well. 
okay so what's stopping you moving forward and we have the two of cups or the two of cauldrons in this deck this is a soulmate connection this is a connection of two people two halves that make the whole so i do sense there could be issues around relationships um i do also sense there could be choices around relationships that could well be there needs to be choices made between two people but there's also obviously the trust issues within relationships as well um again use your intuition you know what is right in your past we have reversed the mother figure the empress the empress the Empress, sorry. Um, this is somebody, this tells me that you love everyone. You love everyone and everything. And it's important to you to always give to others. Um, I almost sense that these two belong together as well. Even though they're very um, different, it's almost as though... But I feel a misunderstanding as well. There's a misunderstanding between these two people. It's almost as though you need to come together, but something's stopping that happening. Okay, in your subconscious, we have the hanged man. I love this card. Oh, I love all the cards, but I do love this card particularly. Please excuse my dog in the shop. <laughs> um, the Hanged Man. So this is a card of enlightenment. When your hands are tied, when you're in that position where you don't know what you can do next or what you should do next, this is when the answers come. When you're suspended upside down on a tree. So your subconscious holds all the answers for you. So if you're toying with something at the moment, then allow that subconscious to take to take over. Remember the question, how can I be the best that I can be? That's what's important this month. That's the question that's being asked. Okay, your higher self, spirit. And we have the eight of cups reversed. If we look, he's off on a pathway up there, full of love here. So I do sense that you need to leave something behind. There needs to be a divide. There needs to be a breaking of a situation um, for you to fulfill your true purpose. It's almost as though you need to do this for yourself. You need to make it happen. The here and now, we have the chariot. I believe that's the first. No, that's a major arcana. That's major arcana. So we've got three major arcanas then. So the chariot. This is about taking back control. So I do sense that around you, there could be people that make choices for you, make decisions for you. You are in control of your own destiny. You are the master of your own destiny. Remember, trust, believe, receive. But the, the chariot is also movement. So this could may, mean that maybe you're off on a break. Maybe you're moving. Maybe there's a move of job. Maybe this is a long distance relationship. Maybe this is you going back to something that happened in the past. So almost as though you're on a, a, a mission to find your purpose. You thought you knew what your purpose was, but you're not 100% sure. Okay, so what do you need to do next? And we have the page of wands reversed. So you're going to be given that gift, that gift of inspiration. Remember the three components that you need to, in order to make things happen. 
the mind, the body, the spirit, the power of three. Nothing is stationary. You need movement. There needs to be movement around you. Something needs to happen for there to create movement for you. This is in your past. This colour's coming back in in August. It's almost as though there's fire, there's passion that's coming back. Okay, this is your outer world and what others see. And we have number five, the Druid. So a major arcana. So others will see your wisdom, your knowledge. Others will see that you are a fantastic teacher. You're able to share your knowledge with others. I almost sense that this year is pivotal in your teaching as well it's almost as though there's been a shift and that shift will stay okay your next card is your hopes and fears and we have reversed the queen of shields money i love this card because she's worked very hard to be where she is she's very independent she knows what she wants but she also knows that money doesn't buy true happiness. Money isn't the answer. Money isn't needed. If you look at the tree, the tree is bare. There's cold mountains in the background. Yes, she's worked very hard. Yes, she does have some money. But actually, she's now looking and thinking to herself, there's something else out there for me. There's something more. Something that money can't buy. Maybe that's connected to this person here. Okay, so let's turn your final outcome for August Pisces. Before I do, I always like to say you have free will and you can change the outcome depending on the choices that you make. Wow. And we have reversed the magician. Number one. You are number one. You need to be back in this position. You have all the tools on the table. You don't need any other teachers. You don't need any other guides. You are just all knowing. The only things you need and the most important thing you need to do is to trust. That is the key word for this month. Just trust. Trust, believe and receive. What a beautiful card to end your reading on, Pisces. What a fantastic month ahead for you. I hope you enjoy it. If it resonates with you, then please let me know in the comments. Please like and share the video. And also, please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the notifications bell. I am on live chat, and this will let you know when I'm there. And I can pull a, a card just for you. Bless you for watching. I hope your August is amazing.